So this is my utility cart. As you can see, got a lot of rust or what they call industrial fallout. Thing is about 30 years old. To prove to you how old it is, Heckinger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually restore this. I'm gonna restore this using um, Rust-Oleum's truck bed coating. But first I wanna get all this rust out. And how I'm gonna do that is with a Harbor Freight pressure washer, uh, probably a 25 or a 15 nozzle and an industrial fallout. Um, I'm not gonna use my uh, expensive uh, industrial fallout that I use for my cars. I'm actually gonna use um, Adams polishes. Still a great remover, but I don't think I need something as heavy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray all this Adams polishes iron remover all over this section here. And what it'll do is you can see that it is orange. When this hits any type of uh, porous metal or soft metal, it's actually gonna turn purple. And that's how you know it's starting to break down so it could be um, washed away or pressure washed away in this instance. So uh, let me get everything set up and then you guys will be able to see what I'm talking about. By the way, this stuff is safe to use on paint. You just don't want to let it dry on paint. Um, you, this is actually made for automobiles and you can see it instantly starts to turn purple. So we're gonna let that work for a minute and then we're gonna turn on the pressure washer. So I wasn't expecting miracles. I just wanted to soften the rust up so it's easier for me to, you see it really worked right there. A um, Couple more things, but a couple more probably passes. I could probably really get that look broken loose. But I also don't want to take away too much metal because it's not smooth. I can feel some of the metal's gone. So I just want to get a good kind of clean surface and make it easier for me when I start sanding. So let's start sanding. Actually, let me dry this off and then we'll start sanding. Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. Make sure Stir it thoroughly. That's how I stir. I don't really care because it's not a truck bed. It's a 30 year old utility cart. All right, here's the finished product. I got some spray stuff to do a better job on the sides. 
I still gotta do the bottom, but as you can see, it turned out pretty well. I know you're supposed to roll it on, but I decided just to brush it on. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna have to flip it over to get the bottom side here and then right there. But it looks pretty good.